Hello guys, you ready for school again? So, this is the assignment that we've done so far since we started this. Oh, we did two. We did this one. And I really want you to have this finished, this finished, and this one finished. All three of those and the cover that goes with them. I want all of those finished and I want them in this folder. And I had you make a folder in Google Drive. And some of you are sending me emails with your assignments in Google Docs. I might have put Google Docs somewhere at some point, but I want a folder in your Google Drive and you're gonna upload each picture from each day into that folder. So at the end of this time that we're away from school, you'll have a folder at home that has all of this work in it, and you'll have a folder on the computer that shows the progress that you made each day that you were home. So I need you, if you haven't done that yet, I need you to go to, to your Google Drive. There's a, up on the left-hand side, there's a little X, and you click on that X, and make a folder and then share the folder with me. And that's where I want you to do this. I don't want you to send me a Google Doc that has a picture of this. I want it, I, I want it in your folder, okay? I want you to, and then I can look in your folder to see it. So our assignment today is to do an analogous color scheme. So look at where it says analogous. And analogous means colors that are similar to each other. And we're gonna do blue and violet and blue violet those are it's three colors next to each other in the color wheel a primary a secondary and the tertiary that goes between them so i'm going to go ahead and get my brush in the water i'm going to let it soak here for a minute they were already wet so you you may have to wait five minutes before you're able to do this but i'm going to start with blue all by itself i'm going to get a nice intense mixture of blue out here two or three spots and I'm gonna paint a nice pure blue. And I'm gonna start right in the middle again. And I don't care where you start. You get to do this how you want. Not sloppy, stay inside the lines. Paint these nice and evenly. But I don't want this to have a whole ton of blue on it because we have all that blue next to this one. Um, maybe I'll do a couple lighter. I'll do some tints of blue and I'll put one over here. Maybe I'll put one here, and where else? Maybe right here. So I have some blue kind of away from this blue side so they don't run into each other too much. But now I'm gonna add some violet, and I'm gonna put some violets in some spots. So I'm gonna get some pure violet. So I'll rinse my brush, I'll dry it out, I'll scoop into my violet, and I'll get an intense mixture of violet. And I think I'll paint it right around my intense blue. So my intense violet, pure, intense, lots of pigment. I'm gonna paint that pure violet all the way around the blue. Once again, you don't have to do yours identical to this, but make sure you're using an analogous set of colors. You could do blue and green and blue green. You could do yellow and green and yellow green. You could do red and orange and red orange. Those are all different sets that you could do, but you can't do all of those different sets on one of these. You pick one set and you do one set on here, but you pick the set that you want. And if you wanna search up analogous, look at it. Sometimes it shows more than three colors. We're sticking with three colors on the color wheel. We're not gonna go to a fourth color, just three. So if you see four on one of those sites, um, remember, Mr. Hunt doesn't want you to go that far. So now I'm going to do a really light tint of violet. And I'm going to paint this big old spot right here with a tint of violet. And I'm going to paint one more right over here with that tint of violet. And then I'm going to start making some blue violets. So I'm going to start to mix this violet and this blue together. And you can make a lot of different colors with just two colors. So there's a blue violet. I'm going to do another one that's got a little bit more violet in it than that. Maybe a little bit more intense violet, but with still blue. So 
I'm going right into that same spot. So it's kind of a bluish color. It's not the same as the color next to it. But it's a pretty cool looking color. I'll go ahead and add some water to that color. And I'll paint that color again right over here. And it will look different because it's a tint of that color. So maybe I'll do that again. Maybe I'll get some more of that color. And I'll paint it somewhere. Maybe over here in a lighter value. So a tint of that blue-violet. So you're starting to see some tints of blue. Tints of violet, some blue violet that's intense, and some tints of blue violet. So I'm going to just mix all of this that I have right here together. That's almost blue, but it has just a little bit of violet in it. So I'll paint that one there. And then I'm going to grab a spot over here where there's more violet on my painting tray. And there's still blue on my brush. That should make a little bit different color than I just made. Yeah, I can see a difference. I'll paint a couple of those. And while I have that nice light color right there, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this edge of the paper. So you always wanna do this really light so that your words still show through this part. And just paint that nice and quickly and evenly. Keep that part light, don't go too dark with that part. Um, I have to make a decision here. I'm gonna paint a really dark blue violet right there. So I'm gonna get some violet out of here. I'm gonna to go to some dark blue and I'll do a really dark blue violet, really intense blue violet. And I'll paint it right there. So that'll be a different color than we've seen on here. And now I'm gonna take that color that I just made and I'm gonna do some tints of it over here so I'm just gonna add water to that color. Maybe I'll do a tint here of that color. And I'll do another one here. And I wanna do one that has, hmm, what do I wanna do for right here? Maybe just a medium, a medium violet. So maybe it'll have a little bit of blue in it, but I'll kind of do a more, a little bit darker violet, but not all the way intense. That looks different than the color on each side of it, and that's what I was going for. So I don't have a bunch of colors next to each other that are the same color. And I think I want dark blue right here. One more dark blue right over here. And I think I'm going to change one of these to a really dark violet. So I'll paint violet over the top of that. So I hope you're having fun doing these worksheets at home. Make sure that you clean up your mess when you get done. That's it. That's it for today. Hasta luego.